The United National Congress has selected Jerlene John as the candidate for La Hokita Talparo. This was announced during the UNC's virtual meeting on the ballot on Thursday night. Ms. John told the virtual meeting that a UNC government will be more people-centered. She called on their supporters to refrain from being hoodwinked. Re-establish the ministry of the people, just as she had done before. This will ensure that our citizens will not feel that they have to go through their day-to-day -day challenges alone. A KPB government will do everything it can to ease the pressures and burdens of the pandemic. After all, we are in this together. So, can, so UNC continue to work hard and serve the people as our leader exhorts us to do. Don't let your feet leave the ground. Do not let the noise and old talk get to you. Ms. John, who is also a deputy political leader of the UNC, will run against the People's National Movement's candidate, Foster Cummings, for the upcoming general elections. She was a former Minister of Transport under the Bas Pande administration and a former Managing Director of the Housing Development Corporation, or HDC, under the People's Partnership Administration. Opposition leader Kamala Pasad Basesa said, due to historical discrimination against African slaves, they never got land. And it's her plan to reverse that, should she win the next general elections. Mrs. Pasad Basesa was speaking on, on the ballot, the UNC's virtual meeting on Thursday. I will reintroduce a revamped land for the landless program. That's the program we had. Land for the landless so that we can give to our citizens and therefore they can help themselves. And you're not giving them a hand down, you're giving them a hand up. The UNC political leader said she will also reconsider removing taxes from foreign used vehicles in order to make it easier to purchase those vehicles. And so we will have to reconsider. I haven't done all the arithmetic yet, all the maths. We have to reconsider taxes being put and the shutdown of the foreign use. Mrs. Pasad Basesa said that the party also plans to challenge some of the laws brought in by Attorney General Faris al-Rawi, for example, the interception of communications amendment bill. <laughs> 